This is everything you need to know for pre-calculus, part six. So we're talking about even and odd functions today. And so this is gonna relate back to the symmetry that we talked about in a previous lesson. So an even function just means that that function or the graph is symmetric with respect to the y-axis. So algebraically, that means that f of negative x is equal to just positive f of x, okay? For odd functions, that means that they're symmetric about the origin and f of negative x is equal to negative f of x, okay? I'll show you what that looks like algebraically in just a second. Let's do a couple of examples. So we have f of x is equal to x cubed minus 2x, and here's what the graph looks like, okay? So if you remember in my previous video, this graph looks like it's symmetric with respect to the origin. So I'm thinking that it's going to be odd, but we're going to test it algebraically. So in order to do that, we're going to plug in negative x everywhere that we see x, okay? So we're going to have negative x cubed minus two times negative x. So if we simplify, negative x cubed is still gonna be negative x cubed, and then minus two times negative x, so negative times negative is positive, so that would be plus two x. So we can see that basically we have the opposite signs on both terms that we had in the original function, okay? x cubed was positive, now it's negative, minus 2x became plus 2x, okay? Another way to look at this is that we could factor out a negative one or just a negative sign from this whole function and make this negative x cubed minus 2x in parentheses, okay? Which means that this is equal to negative f of x, all right? Just like up here algebraically, okay? We plugged in negative x and we got negative f of x. We got the opposite. So this one definitely is odd. I'm gonna circle letter B. And now let's do just one more problem. So we have g of x is equal to x to the fourth power plus two. So this graph, I'm 99% sure is symmetric with respect to the y-axis, okay? So that means if we plug in negative x, we should just get the same function. So let's go ahead and test that. So we're gonna do negative x to the fourth power plus two. So negative x to the fourth power, anytime we put something to an even power, it's gonna make that term positive. So this is positive x to the fourth plus two, okay? So our function did not change at all, just like we said should be the case with an even function, okay? We plugged in negative x and got just regular f of x. So this one is going to be even. We're gonna circle letter A, and that is how you can determine from a graph and algebraically if a function is even or odd.